Which nursing assessment data supports that the client has experienced a pulmonary embolism? Answer number one, cough pain with dorsiflexion of the foot. Two, sudden onset of chest pain and dyspnea. Left-sided chest pain and diaphoresis and bilateral crackles and a low-grade fever. Now, what type of question do you think this is? A recall and recognition style question or an analysis and application style question? That's right. This is a recall and recognition style question. Now, let's use the process of elimination to eliminate the wrong answers and select the correct one. Answer number one, you can eliminate. This is a sign of deep vein thrombosis. Answer number three, you can eliminate that one as well because left-sided chest pain and diaphoresis is a sign of a myocardial infarction. Answer number four, bilateral crackles and a low-grade fever, these are common signs of pneumonia or other pulmonary complications. So which is a sign and symptom of a pulmonary embolism will be sudden onset of chest pain and dyspnea? This is a very simple question. However, you need to know what are the signs and symptoms of a pulmonary embolism. Let's practice another question. The client is getting out of bed and becomes very anxious, suddenly complains of chest pain and difficulty breathing. The nurse thinks the client may be experiencing a pulmonary embolism. What should the nurse implement first? One, administer oxygen 10 liters via nasal cannula, place the client in high fallers position, obtain a stat pulse oximeter reading, and auscultate the client's lung sound. What do you think? Different type of questions? That's right. This is a higher thinking question. This is an application and analysis style question. Every time you face a priority question, you need to use a priority strategy. Knowing content will not be sufficient to answer this type of questions. You have to be able to apply nursing content in order to find the right answer. In this question, I can use a strategy called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, which you will learn later. Let's use the process of elimination and a critical thinking strategy to select the right answer. Administer oxygen 10 liters via nasal cannula. This is an implementation answer that deals with oxygen. Answer number two, place the client in high follower position. This is an implementation answer that has to deal with opening the airway. Obtaining a stat pulse oximeter reading, this is an assessment. And number four, auscultate the client's lung sound. This is an assessment as well. So you have a mixture of assessment versus implementation answers. Now is the time to use a critical thinking strategy. You can either use assessment versus implementation or Maslow's hierarchy of needs or a combination of both. You have to go back to the stem of the question and think and identify the keywords. The question states, the patient becomes very anxious and suddenly complain of chest pain. This is a sudden and acute changing condition. This is an emergency. So I ask you a question. If you're dealing with a patient that has an emergency, has increasing difficulty breathing, do you think your focus should be an assessment or doing something to help the client with the problem? You're right, an implementation will be the right answer. We do not have time now to do another assessment. So we can eliminate in this scenario any answer that is 
an assessment answer. So answer number three and answer number four, eliminate. Now you have two available answers. Answer number one, administer oxygen, and answer number two, placing the client in high follower position. I know that some of you are thinking, what do I do first? Do I administer oxygen or do I put the patient in high follow position? Accordingly to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, physiological needs have priority. But within the physiological needs, airway has priority over breathing and breathing has priority over circulation. Answer number one, oxygen is breathing. But answer number two, placing the client in high follow position, this is an airway answer. If you put your patient in high follow position, this position facilitates maximal lung expansion and reduces venous return. This is the best answer. This is the answer that is gonna help the patient with the problem and the main problem was chest pain and difficulty breathing. As you can see, NCLEX style questions can be quite challenging. But do not worry, I will take you by the hand and I will show you how you can improve your critical thinking process.